Hello, welcome to another video, and today I wanted to introduce my Hammer Zerker Clawbringer Berserker build that mainly focuses in on the Clawbringer side using Clawbringer action skill. I, shook, I briefly showed this off in the White Rider video. No, that was not an April Fool's. The White Rider is genuinely a really, really good gun, and I love it, and it's my main endgame gun. But um, this is the build that, uh, that comes with that. I know lots of people are curious, and this is just the build that I've been having so much fun with. So, uh, jumping in, I'll go through the skill tree first, actually. We have uh, Clawbringer Berserker. Uh, now, to kind of make a point, I've gone Clawbringer Capstone, although I think overall, Berserker Capstone is probably the better of the two, uh, <laughs> just for the hammer throw up time. However, just to prove that it works and that it's fun, uh, I have Storm Smite. Though, if you want to see my Berserker Capstone build, uh, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description or the comments to a just kind of a, a, a builder on a website that uh, shows the Berserker tree. And if I don't remember, remind me in the comments. Uh, so, jumping in on the on the Clawbringer side, Storm Dragon's Judgment, uh, unfortunately Cleansing Flames just sucks. Uh, the hitbox on it is super jank, it doesn't do as much damage as Storm Dragon's Judgment because Storm Dragon's Judgment hits twice, and it's got longer cooldown and you need to be point blank, and this action skill is just bad. I wish it was better. Yeah, you can make it do damage, but Storm Dragon Judgment is just better, and is actually quite good. Uh, Oath of Fire, uh, we're going to be using a lot of guns, so we've got Bonus Fire. Dragon Aura, it's a really, really, really good um, skill. Want to put all our points into that with every Clawbringer build that you make. Oath of Thunder, to apply to our hammer, and sometimes we swing our sword. Favor, just because A, to get us down the tree and... It does a little bit of damage, a little bit of stunning. Uh, it's not that major. Firebolt, 8% gun damage. I believe that is Fresh Molt as well. So it's actually 8%. And then um, Storm Breath as well, uh, just to give our, our Dragon Pet. So we got a few Fiend to Flame. So our Dragon Pet can kill things uh, with these three abilities here. So it's not useless. Indomitable as our Fight for Your Life save. Or because it's just a DPS increase overall. And then Storm Smite. Uh, Storm Smite is an interesting capstone because I'll, I'll word it like this. Storm Smite is a capstone that does self damage on a 25 second cooldown. Yes, it does self damage, so be careful. Uh, <laughs> it's fun though. And when it triggers, it helps Storm Dragon's Judgment uh, one tap enemies more consistently. My goal with this build was to make something that was unique to Clawbringer. I tried full gun, but why not just go like Berserker Spore or uh, Berserker Spell Shot or Berserker Graveborn or Berserker Berserker. Um, and if I went full melee, why not go Berserker Stabo? So, uh, can you tell I like Berserker? And <laughs> I, I couldn't quite figure out what was unique to Clawbringer that made Clawbringer Clawbringer. And the only two things really is Wyvern and Storm Dragon's Judgment. So I went Storm Dragon's Judgment, and it's pretty good. It one taps most basic enemies, and it's got really, really good uptime for uh, enchants and stuff with one of the shortest cooldown action skills in the game. And just even when you full duration it, it's also got a very short cooldown at 21 seconds. Over on the Berserker side, we've got Ancestral I Frost. I don't have any points all. in Savagey, that's for my armor piece. Old Ways, damage reduction, meh, bonus damage. This is a global damage increase, so it increases everything that we do. Uh, Sing for Icebreaker, though that one is a fresh multiplier, so very, very good. And Cold Snap to help improve our frost efficiency and some movement speed. Worth mentioning is that this, even if you're not freezing enemies, it doesn't matter because you've always got the bonus frost element with the efficiency. Even if you're only getting a third of what this skill can do, it's 10% per point. It's such a value skill as Icebreaker. So even if you're not freezing targets, it's still giving you a really nice damage bonus. Unarbor Defense is just a win almost every time, uh, especially if you come across Trust in Magic or something, or Turtle Shields or whatever. Unarbor Defense is just fantastic. It still lets you keep on full effects on shields as well. Uh, it's just a really good skill. And then Relentless Rage for a, a fight for your life save. No brainer. In terms of hero stats, I've gone with Strength, Achievement, then Dex. You can do anything you want here as long as you're maxing out Strength. And yeah, that's the skill tree spec for um, for my Hammer Berserker. As I say, Berserker Capstone is nutty, really, really good. So if you want to drop your points out of around here, you can. 
You also get some area damage and some fire rate while doing it. And Blast Chill. I do have a point in Blast Chill from a uh, armor piece. Blast Chill is really good. So, uh, into the gear. Obviously, you know, uh, liquid cooling is a no-brainer. Mine's not even chaotic. I've been on the hunt. Um, so that's for our boss melts. Uh, live wire I like using against green boss and just a backup, really. Um, Torgs, purple Torgs are good for bossing um, as like a backup over liquid cooling. If you don't have one yet, they're really, really good. I'm trying to maximize my pistol um, ammo capacity uh, for Ludites. Because if you can get enough myth rank and gear bonuses to increase your pistol mag size uh, to about 30%-ish, 30-some percent, you can get seven rounds in the mag, which allows you to fire these things three times. And some of the most consistent, like, boss melts with guns that I've seen that's more, like, open to whatever class you're playing uses these Ludite pistols that are times three. Uh, so, I uh, highly recommend keeping an eye out. Very, very powerful, and I'm just trying to get the pieces to unlock that third shot. But for the meantime, I'm using Liquid Cooling and the Times 3 Torg ARs for my bossing. And then overall, I tend to use the Right Rider. Uh, yeah, it's not Cryo, uh, Liquid Cooling would be better for that, but it's just so fun and easy to use because of the lock-on that it does. I did, I did a short video covering this a few days ago. If you can get it with consumes 2 amp of shot as well, that does, does double the, the card damage, so that makes it very powerful. Just a really, really good gun. In terms of melee weapon, uh, it's kind of a noint fuel at the minute, though I do like great swords. When using it with the liquid cooling and melee damage rings, I would freeze a target, hit with a melee weapon. Freeze a target, hit with a melee weapon. The melee would hit for over 100k, which it would one-tap anything. Uh, and that was a really fun gameplay loop, but obviously it's more efficient just to keep shooting. <laughs> and then shield Body Rune, it's just my favorite shield. I don't like using Cursed Wit. It talks to you and it's just busted. Um, I've got an, an Amalgam here with Berserker Power. It's a very, very good Amalgam. Um, the ability crit chance is whatever, but the other four are really good. Um, it's Berserker Power because the skills are different, whether it's Clawbringer Power or Berserker Power in either order. And the skills for Clawbringer Berserker are way worse than Berserker Clawbringer. Berserker Clawbringer, we get both Blast Chill and Dragon Aura. Whereas Clawbringer Power, you get things like, I think it's like Radiance and Rebuke and, um, is it Ancient Fury? I don't know. It, it's something unremarkable. So I've, I've actually sacrificed some hammer throw damage. Also because this uh, armor piece that I found is cracked and <laughs> getting a, a equal Clawbringer Berserker variant has been quite difficult. In terms of uh, Amulet, I've got Clawbring Power Frost Damage. Uh, the passives aren't super remarkable right now, but if you can get all damage dealt, that's ideal. Uh, all damage dealt Gun Mag, that kind of stuff, that, that's ideal there. In terms of spell, I've got a simple cast Arc Torrent. This is uh, four charges on a 10 second cooldown, so I use this to just maximize my on spell cast and chance. An alternative you can use is Glacial Cascade. Uh, you can definitely get that one with multiple charges. That's very, very good and more useful as a spell. And I'm not sure if I've got one. No, there's also the Arcane Bolt. The Arcane Bolt gets to about a six second cooldown as well. And if you hit a crit with it, it's like a four second cooldown. So Arcane Bolt's very nice for enchant stuff, but I'm just using a, a simple Arc Torrent. It doesn't kill anything. It's just there for enchants. And then for rings, you can bounce between melee damage rings and gun damage rings. I've been using gun damage rings because it's better for bossing, but in general play, I prefer melee damage rings. Uh, I've got a, I've got this new one actually. I got this one, very very nice. Uh, I need to try that one out. And the reason why I like melee damage rings is because it allows me to kill more with my thrown hammer of Storm Dragon Judgment. So uh, that's just fun, and that's the that's the gameplay loop I was going for is is Storm Dragon Judgment, but for efficiency and clear uh, the gun damage rings. Uh, better. So, yeah, that is the Hammer Zerker. Um, I stream this over on Twitch. It's a build that I like to jump to. I'm, I'm jumping between uh, various different builds because um, this game is just so fun to play with so many different playstyles. Uh, but yeah, uh, there's a lot out there on, on people saying that Clawbring is the worst class, it's bad, it needs a touch-up, it needs a Zane treatment. I don't think it needs a Zane treatment. Um, but in reality, I don't think Clawbringer is bad, it's just really confused. 
It's got, it does damage through guns, melee, ability, and companion, but the only global damage boost it has is Dragon Aura. Other than that, it's all very specific, like this skill boosts your guns, this skill boosts your companion, this skill boosts your melee, and it doesn't have an ability boosting skill. Um, it, yeah, it's just a very confused class. Couple that with a capstone that damages the player. It's not bad. It's just confused. But it doesn't matter, because Corbring is having the most fun. It's swinging around a giant hammer. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I love the Clawbring. It's been a lot of fun and uh, definitely my very fun character to play. Oh, and an extra note. In terms of enchants, there's no class-specific enchants to really go for here, so just go for anything that boosts your damage, you know. On action skill star, increase an element that you're using. On action skill active, increase an element that you're using. On action skill star, increase global damage. On spell cast, gun damage, or, you know, just... Any assortment of elemental damage, all damage, or gun damage, all of those are perfectly fine to run. Also, all gameplay that you're seeing here is on intense difficulty on Chaos 20, so uh, the hardest difficulty in the game at the current state, I guess. So, yeah. If you've got any questions uh, you want to ask and uh, about anything that I potentially missed, or weapons to use, or that kind of stuff, uh, be sure to ask away, I'd be more than happy to answer. Uh, yeah, Clubbering Berserker, it's tons of fun, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, this was also my smoothest run to Chaos 20 as well, okay, I got that liquid cooling quite early on, but, you know, character fun, Storm Dragon Judgment fun, big hammer fun. <laughs> Have a wonderful rest of the evening, stay safe, stay awesome, I'll catch you next time, bye bye. Should be interesting. <clears throat> I've got all the magic I need. You were short work. There's the burning little bugger. Hey.